Hello everyone, Ryan here and I'm back with another NBA 2K25 career mode series video and we're picking up right where we left off. We're heading into our second game of the season and last episode in Ryan Gamer's rookie debut here for the Miami Heat, we had a great game. Ryan posted 21 points, 3 rebounds, 4 assists. Now we did have 4 turnovers, so we do need to clean that up a little bit, but overall it was a great game, especially for our first game in the NBA. So, we have three games that were supposed to outperform the starting point guard here for Miami. And we already did it once, so if we do it two times in a row, we will be the starting point guard for the Miami Heat. So, this will be our first away game. We will be in Charlotte today versus the Hornets. And let's crush the Hornets. Thank you all so much for all the support on this series so far. If you get some enjoyment, drop a like. It really helps the channel. Subscribe for more. And there is plenty of other career mode content you can tune into here on the Gamer Ability YouTube channel. We got College Football 25 content. We got Madden 25. We got PGA 2K, EA PGA Tour, Top Spin. You name it. If it's a sports game, it's a career mode. I'm likely to play it and have a series on it. But without further ado... Let's go ahead and dive on in to this matchup. So we're going to travel to Charlotte here and let's have some fun. Tonight should be easy work. And look, we already switched into the jersey. See, we just get, get to go straight into the basketball now in NBA 2K25. In NBA 2K23, there's so much backstories you had to go through. You had to do your fashion career, your music career, your skateboarding career. I like the focus on basketball now, right? This part never gets old. So here we are, our first away game as a rookie. Let's crush the Hornets. And I want to post at least 20 points. And let's do only two turnovers and better defense. You can look for more episodes by checking the full playlist in the video description below. I'm sure we'll have some conversations after the game and stuff. Maybe not. Now, shoot around seems to really matter now. It didn't really used to matter, but now you can actually boost your takeover. Now, that might have been an NBA 2K24. I did not play the career in that game. But starting off with some makes. Three-point shot, we got it to 85 in episode one, so we're looking pretty good. And I will say... Ryan had a lot of work with his personal trainer and defensive coach, Jerry. I mean, Jerry coaches his offense too, but Jerry was not impressed with Ryan's defense in week one. Uh, so Jerry had Ryan run so many sprints and practice so hard on defense. We'll see if it actually pays off, but we can't play much worse. Oh, who say does that star spin? Okay, that was awesome. Thanks for joining us here on 2K Sports for NBA Basketball. Joined by Greg Anthony, Clark Kellogg, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan. And we'll be getting the inside story tonight. Sham Charania is joining us at the broadcast table. <laughs> Shams, it is so great to have you by our side. Kevin, thank you so much. It's great to be here. I always love to follow the game, talk about the game. It should be a lot of fun tonight. You'll give great insight. We can't wait to get going. And here's the upcoming schedule now for the Miami Heat. On Monday, they'll go back home and they'll be hosting the Detroit Pistons. Then on Wednesday, they'll host the New York Knicks. And you know for that matchup with Washington, that's one to mark on the schedule. It's their fifth game of the year, and we should start to see their lineups get sorted out. So the opening lineup for the Heat... Hero in its shooting goal with Butler at small forward. In the post, it's Jovic and Adebayo. And it's Richardson in at the one. And for the Hornets, up at forward, it's Miller and Bridges. 
LaMelo Ball is out there with Trey Mann, and it's Williams at the pivot spot manning the middle. Hearing scouts talk about MP before the draft, the one concern they had was his hesitation to take over games himself. And I think that's just how MP is wired, right? He's always been a team first player, even if that means sacrificing his own shot a bit too often. They must be talking about the wrong MP. Really played well against I think Orlando they're mixing it up with somebody else. <laughs> yeah, uh, this is coming from an MP who shot 12 three-pointers in his first game in as a rookie in the NBA. So I don't know who they're talking about, but it's clearly not Ryan Gamer. Oh, LaMelo, what do you got? Scouting report? Okay. Oh, I'm not afraid of LaMelo. Yeah, right. This could be easy. Let's hold him to one point. Two points. Ten points. Let's be more realistic. <laughs> this series is going to be so much fun. Here's man. And I know Ryan needs to hit the weight room, but he, he, uh, he came straight from the golf course. He's straight in his his PGA Tour, his PGA 2K23 and EA PGA Tour shape. He doesn't focus on working out too much, but he works on playing defense. Enzo, that was incredible. Bring it up for Miami. They trail by one. They come into this one having outplayed the Magic last game. Yeah, I mean, see, being small, you can be fast. Oh my. And, you know, everything seemed to just kind of flow naturally for him. Felt like they were in a groove from the opening tip. Here's Paul. Thank Jones you, Bell. That's the Kentucky Repeat boy right there. And this quarter, he has clearly been off the mark. Outside Jimmy, Butler. are you going to do something? That's the screen for Butler. And the okay. Is good. Why did we question Butler's him? Butler's got seven. Shams, with as often as you've interacted with front offices what a all shot. over the NBA, have you noticed any changes with how franchises operate with both the players and the media and that relationship and where it may be headed? Everything has to be more specialized now in the organization, but you're seeing true partnerships develop with teams and their players, especially their top players. The teams have to pay more attention now to data, to metrics. Uh, nobody saw before. that. Welcome back to Gamer Ability, everybody. A good thing you all stepped away for a second. You didn't miss anything, but just in case you did, we have our first defensive breakdown of the day. Uh, so. <laughs> I'm sure Jerry is going to have a long talk with Ryan when he's watching film after this game. Uh, but yeah. So LaMelo gets the ball here, and Ryan's kind of sprinting around a little bit. And then... <laughs> Ryan thought that LaMelo, Melo, Melo, LaMelo, wow, I'm so thrown off, LaMelo was going to shoot, and then Ryan jumps over him and almost falls down, and look, Ryan looks like he's yelling at his teammate, like, help, help, and then he finally turns around, <laughs> and then LaMelo uh, gets the easy basket, now, yeah, I know I said that Jerry had been working on defense quite some time, but I don't know what happened there. I think Ryan might have stepped on a banana pill or something. Yeah, that's what it was. You can't see it, but you can tell as his foot slides there. I think he stepped on a banana pill or something and just kind of slid. Uh, maybe. <laughs> oh my, okay. All right. So that, that was something. Let's uh, move on past that and focus on never doing that again. And the relationship between your top players in so the There's your replay breakdown. Very, very important. And the teams that do a good job of managing relationships, of managing expectations, that is clearly what separates the elite teams. That's an assist. Let's go. Teams. And certainly players in today's generation are very, very polished when it comes to the media. Oh, you frame that so well. And so it's Charlotte with it. Following the three by Miami that went in. Pass to man. Come on. Bridges deciding where to go with it. He makes another one. That's four up and four in to start his game. 
always looking to make an impact and capable of doing so. When Bridges sees a shot, he does not hold back. He lets it fly. Oh, I'm going. Send it, Ryan. Count the basket. And their post play has been really solid. Ryan MP, right the Punisher back. Gamer. For the Hornets, they come into this one following a loss to the Hawks. He did not get the name the Punisher from his defense in NBA. That came from WWE. Eight points his last outing. Here's Miller. And NHL. Some solid defense from Butler. Good offense squaring up against Ryan's got to work there. on his hops a little bit. Appreciate that stop. Well, that's wide open. Here's MP. The rebound by LaMelo Ball. Well, they'll be happy with that. Well, it was wide open, so. It didn't fall. You know what? That's a confidence. Good job. I mean, that's a Jovich, if I'm saying that name right, pass it. MP, that's for two. And there's All day, every day. For the Heat. At this stage of his young career, MP knocking down jumpers, that is very encouraging. That's what we do. We may be young, but we know how to play the game. Bridges outside. Somehow Ryan Gamer was able to tell the NBA he was 19 years old, and they used that. And the Hornets miss again. Clearly, the NBA doesn't know Ryan's history. MP passes to Hero. Butler dishes to MP. Over in the corner, Hero. Pass, Hero. Pass. Back to MP. And he can't extend the lead to double digits. I thought that Hero passed a Man, bit too late. That's all right. Crafty move. Whistle blows. Bow. Good. So a chance here for a three-point play. He's just such a well-rounded offensive player. He's got a little bit of everything. If that's a foul. Shooting their first free throw of the evening. And look back I clearly don't ago. know what a foul a is. How <laughs> is that a foul? That is the weakest foul I have ever seen with some of the best defense Ryan Gamer has ever played. What I say we're going to hold LaMelo to 10 points? Yeah. Okay. Seconds left to play in the first quarter. Hero, just get open. With one on the clock. Oh, yeah, do that. Just like that. That's my hero right there. Let's do this, everybody. Second game is going really well right now. Let's keep it up. And thanks again for tuning in. If you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter of action so far. And a chance to catch up on some numbers here. Scoring breakdown for Miami. Well, they haven't wasted any time getting into a groove from deep. Putting up oh, and no. hitting a healthy amount of three-pointers thus far. Something Good else board. Well tonight, guys. Lots of points in the paint. Something to Take it, Hero. That's all day. You can't Bridges. guard him. And it's green. Then there's LaMelo Ball. And it's Michich in at the one spot. So that's the lineup for Charlotte. And Charms, I've always wondered, uh, watching you, reading you, when did you first fall in love with the NBA? And, and when did you decide to cover it? Really, when I was around 10, 11 years old, I grew up in Chicago right as the Bulls dynasty was starting. I wasn't quite old enough, but I was old enough to see some of those scrappy Who is the guest? The who is the guest commentator? I do not remember who they said. Playing it, and then now being someone that's able to inform And I the don't recognize now. their voice, you know but I, looking up and I don't down know. This table, I think we all feel the exact same way. Now, here's MP. Following the miss by LaMelo Ball. Good news. With every miss, we activate our GOAT skill. Here's Micic. Akez defending. Ball, the pass to Micic. He had an open, he had an open man there. Six on the shot clock. Pass to Richards. Oh, no. Shooting foul. As the whistle blows, he'll shoot two free throws. It's going to be on MP. The Hornets have gone one for one. Making Was it a foul? Well, I guess if you get technical, probably. But still, I don't like the call. Shoot Ryan is tiny. How do you want him to play defense against a big man like that? Like, we're tiny. We have to, we have to get a little dirty out there, right? Do you want to win or do you want to lose, That's Rev? Throw, no good. That, you Ryan, you try to tell so that to the ref. GMs, well, ref, I just got to get a little dirty out there to compete. People. Uh, you know, knowing what they do, what is an overlooked part 
of how they operate their day-to-day -day jobs with these NBA teams? A few things for me, Kevin. It is the relationships with agents, with other teams. Are they trusted? Do they have the trust of others? That is of importance, certainly. Hero, get How open. How well connected are they within the organization? How are they building their own front offices in their own buildings? But their thirst for information, their ability to use information to strategize, that is something that occurs every single day. Because if you know something is happening with a specific team, that could shape how you want to strategize your team moving forward. Now, I want you all to hear the commentary, so I may not talk a lot during these initial episodes. And here in the second. But they talk a lot. Jovic passes to MP. The high post shot connects the jumper drops. Look. MP's got the lead it's the activated. For the heat. Okay, everybody remain him, calm. He has come 99 middle time. shooting, I think, is what we get. Touches. And I think we get faster. Or is that the 3.1? We need to shoot more Quarter three points. What am I doing? Two and a half minutes gone by. Here's ball. Miami grabs the Let's activate it. Feed me the rock. Of the season at or this not. Team. And we'll see if anything's different this year because they didn't match up well with we this go. team last year getting swept in the season series. Not what you'd expect when you look at the standings. I, think I get 99. I just start doing table. crazy stuff, and right? What am I doing? So Did so I just steal it? And Hero, and send this in. The I have to ask, Bad pass, right? <laughs> It's uh, like I'm talking to my teenage daughter. What is your screen time like? Um, you, you've got to be in front of that computer and clearly in front oh, of no. your phone every oh, no. minute or at least most every minute of every hour of every day. It's not as high as it needs Coach to be. said good shot contest. Much. Thankfully, it's not always like that, but certainly at the biggest times of the year, free agency, draft, trade deadline, it is certainly up there. Is this a, in the is this a GM? Range. Kevin, what's your screen time? I feel like you might have a high Like a media time. member? Maybe it might be it. somebody in the media. I take two months off in the summer, but for those 10 months, it's seven days a week, a lot like you. But I know how much happens in the offseason. That, that's my interest in, in, in sitting next to you here courtside tonight is that you're, you're watching this game, but your mind is always thinking about this and that, and it never ends. Like, you must not get much sleep. That's what we do all day. Sleep, right? My goodness. We do get sleep, but your off season is my season, Kevin, and I want to make sure as we get this season going, I'm able to inform. And you always do. You always do. I now I send it over to the. I thought I turned off those quick David cuts Aldrich. after the basket. Maybe David I didn't. Banks, Bam I don't really like them, honestly. I like it to just go straight into the career. the next said, play. Shoot the ball. I feel like that's wow, Charlotte is shooting. It sounds very simple. I, came into this I mean, they know how to defender. shoot today, don't they? I feel like the progression's been shoot the ball. All day. Everything else later. Do we have 99 Certainly speed right now? It feels like it. Threat. Well, we talked about expansion. That uh, has been floated around. We know that teams would have to realign. Shams, any ideas on which teams might have to shift with expansion in the east or west? Certainly most of the potential expansion cities. The high Nobody saw that. I mean, the commentators are just telling life stories Maybe today. you have a team out east that is in the west moving into the yes. Eastern Conference. Okay, now we know LaMelo is way worse than Ryan Gamer at defense. I mean, do they ever stop talking? I guess, you know, they're at least telling information for you all. Uh, I thought I turned these off. I like camera cuts. I know I turned this stuff off. You all were there. After basket cuts, never. I know I changed that. The conference team one being a West, there's several options that Adam Silver and the NBA have. I would think New Orleans would be one of those teams, right? Just where they are geographically. It is cool that they have guest commentary, those though. Two teams are in the West, and I could see them maybe going East. Possible? Certainly, Minnesota and Memphis. Those are two teams that, to me, have an Eastern Conference feel. Well, he leading by ten. Give me the rock. Butler. Look at the attack of I forgot. Butler, Butler doesn't pass, but neither does Ryan Gamer that much. So we can't say anything. Right at the defense. And so it's Charles Lee calling timeout. I need this some water. Get your water, everybody. Discuss some potential alterations. How, what do you all think Jerry's defensive grade so far 
would be to Ryan right now. If you all were making Jerry's defensive grades, what would you all assign Ryan? Mijic is checked in for Charlotte. I'm going to say a solid D minus. Go to the 2K leaderboard to see the teams that excelled at slowing the pace down a campaign ago. The Heat third. The players in the league on, that worry about getting their numbers each night were often disappointed when playing this team last year. They were one of the best at opponent's points allowed per game. They said, the oh, big time. Oh, oh. oh, just an impressive. I mean, what a play. What are you going to do against that? That was amazing. What? Funky with his throwdown. And on the AT&T 5G slam cam, you can see how impressive that move was. We're so fast right now. It's amazing. Man, have they been effective at Still getting it. the ball inside. I'll tell you, we're taking a look at some real deficiencies defensively. I mean, they've given up five straight good looks in the paint. Charlotte moving it around. Inside. This is much better than the camera we played in 2K23. Is that camera that jumped around a lot? Look at Tyler Hero. Thank you so much for taking time to join us. It has been you don't mess with those pleasure. Kentucky players. Thanks the so best players in the world there, Kentucky Wildcats. I'm, honored, I'm, privileged. Oh, I'm not biased at all. You that. Thank you again. Oh, wasn't that wonderful? Easy to see why Shams has so many sources around the game. I mean, have they it's missed so a basket? I mean, we haven't either. Yeah, it's all about relationships at the end of the day. When the Fade away. Or in, that suits his purpose as a reporter. And Dwayne Wade is the first heat point. I was trying to do a fadeaway, so that they said that was a reporter as the guest commentary. And Kevin, I was trying well to fade away, and Ryan Wade, took it in. The best player in franchise history. Was oh, this home field advantage? The screen the shake? Plus, he's already got a street name after. He's off on the first. A quiet but confident player. MP is one of those guys that lets his play. Remember, we only have 60 free throw shooting, so we shouldn't be the best three-point shooter. I mean, free throw shooter should be a solid three-point shooter. And you expect that with the team, with where they're at. They're looking for any advantage game to game and trying to build that identity as a franchise. <laughs> yeah, that was part of the plan. We worked on that in practice all week. Like, Ryan fake like he's not going to play defense, and Belm Abadayo comes in. That's a, that's a Coach Spostra original. He's tightly guarded. Pass to Jovic. Now here's Butler. Shoot it, Butler. For three. Bridges with the board. Bridges has got four rebounds in this game. Here's Micic. I'm really missing that 99 speed. And oh, he hits the buzzer, Peter. Resourceful move there, ending the period on a high note. Nothing like knocking down that last possession of a quarter to give you a little feel-good momentum. And so well, there's the half, 47-37. He comes away with 11 points in the quarter and is showing no signs of fatigue. We'll return shortly. No, sh no signs of fatigue. Keep in mind, we got to skip the halftime show due to music. But we do have a half-court shot here. There's no music in the background. We should be good. Come on, fan. A Charlotte Hornets fan going to take a half-court shot for $10,000. Close. Good try. <laughs> Was that is that one of you all out there? Did somebody... Did somebody go to this game to watch Ryan Gamer and got called for the half-court shot? And for those of you just tuning in, thanks for being with us. The second half of this game still to play. You look at MP in this one, he's been everywhere. Well, uh, he was putting on a passing clinic in that first half, set up a lot of their mates. And you, you hear know, that? That's what delights him most. That's what he takes most pride in. He loves being the chief facilitator. I don't actually love getting assists, so just want to make that clear. I don't mind it. I will say the halftime report said they talked about how in sync our team was. So that's a big compliment. And they also said that they believe that Ryan Gamer is the greatest player of all time, the GOAT. I might have made up that part. 
That's a miss. His fifth eight made field goals. Hornets trail by 10. Yeah, Ride Gamer is far from the GOAT. That is for sure. We know the 90s were a different era, Greg. Either win the game or win the fight. I mean, what are you supposed to do? Do you miss that physicality? <laughs> well, I will say, Kevin, it made for some great stories, but I don't think we're missing much without all the extracurriculars. And I think we have a beautiful game now. Jovich passes to MP. MP finds a gap, lays it up and banks it in. I mean, MP's got 19 points. We need to do that more. MP's Sit back, sprint tonight. forward, Solid get an easy basket. Why have we not been doing that? Williams finds ball. Back to Williams. We got to take advantage of Bridges of Charlotte shot. Hornets' poor defense. At least it looked poor there. And he hits it just before the shot clock. Bridges starts. has 17 points. Bridges has got 17. He, he's playing great. Yes, sir. Bridges really asserting himself on okay, offense. Okay, let's when he's rolling let's shoot like a three. That, he gets his whole team fired up. And the basket by MP. It was a two, but and still, what a shot. Into the second half now. Ball against MP. Remember, that's our strong suit. We're a shooter. I mean, 85, 80 middle, Miller, right? And then 85 three-point. I mean, that was Butler. good D. Butler's you can't really play better than that. When it comes to players, go, Butler. Let's go, Jimmy. Jimmy has to be way up there. <laughs> Kevin, did you see his media picture for the 23-24 season? He looked like he belonged in an emo band with that hairstyle. Jimmy is definitely one of those guys that likes to troll and have no. fun. Ball from long range. It falls through, making him six for eleven in oh, the game. He can shoot he that. Ball's three point shot. He's more than ready yeah, I, I had no respect for Ball's three point so. shot. Auto now we do. The screen on Ball. MP passes to Autobio. Get it, Belm. And Autobio throws it down hard. Oh, that's not fair. Autobio using He's so his good. athleticism to give this crowd something to remember. And that's life above the rim. Courtesy of our I mean, that was really good defense. I mean, it really we didn't really need to play that good there, but it was good. He wants to talk to his guys. And the Hornets making a change here. Green's checked in. 55 to 44. We cannot lose against the Hornets. Come on. I'm not saying the Hornets are bad. I actually don't know much about the Hornets this year, so they might be really good. Three minutes gone now in the third quarter. At the top of the key, Williams. I'm ready to lock Inside it down. The three point line. Tries again. Williams shot is off. Hey, I have Ryan to say that maybe Ryan was part of that. MP looking around. Pass to Autobio. That's a yep, perfect pass. And that's now Almost an interception, but it was where it needed to Love be. That play call by MP finding a way to create for his team. That's what Ryan MP hold that thought. An easy two points on the way up. Well, you certainly can't fault him as the reason they're behind. He's been on target. And that's on what Ryan MP does. Autobio with a screen on ball. I disagree. Illegal screen. Illegal screen. Yeah, was he moving? For the league is to really crack down on a yes. Screen. Yeah, you know, he might have gotten away with that a few years ago, but not anymore. No way. Now you've got to be stationary on those screens. No extra hips or elbows or they'll call it. Why did we lose our grade for our teammates? On the Wait, wing, man. Did, did it, didn't He's our grade just go from Green B plus to a B? What did I just miss? Williams a screen. Bridges for three. Offensive rebound. Ryan, get on your man. Bad block attempt. <laughs> you mean because we were 20 feet away? The kick out to ball. No good on the three. Defense is so tough. No wonder they don't play defense in the NBA. Every time. MP, good. It's so tough. Floater. You see how MP has really improved his craft. Hornets trail by 13. 
Well, they play more defense in the NBA than Ryan Gamer does, though. I can tell you that. He's wide open. some big Is it ever? It remains coaching for the only you could it be any more open than that he's ever worked for already one of the most tenured head coaches in the association and that that's all day for a while. ryan mp gamer and here's ball He'll wait our grade Wilson. went down we playing host to toronto for the next one it said good It'll shot selection oh it went up there it goes i was gonna say if that goes down we might retire left in the third quarter of the game Nice pass in here by Charlotte. Shot clock at five. For three, Bridges. That shot off. Well, I mean, just casually getting his third first rebound so of the game. The second, he's come up with goose eggs. Adebayo finds MP. Shoot that, Tyler. MP sets the screen for Hero. Clanny That's it. To knock down the shot. Hero, you shoot this team is amazing and this is why many are high we might not lose the game his ability to kick it up a notch and just take over and let's head over to the sideline and catch up with david alder hey kevin we all know about what heat culture means bam out of bio says we share the ball play together and we know where the shots are going to come that looked from. a lot like and ryan gamer's defense uh, so everybody buys in everybody competes and everybody look how fast we are i'm gonna do Kevin, how do you do a step back three great chemistry thanks david and here's mp for three hornets with the rebound that's how good positioning we, we got minus fans for that was it that ugly <laughs> wow i didn't think it was that bad we lost fans because of that shot Here's man trills the three pointer. He's got nine. The D just sagged off. Do we lose fans for every no single bad shot now? His part. And B passes to Jovich. Well, I mean, the good news is that's our first turnover of the game, so a big improvement from four. Here's Jovich. Good, and the assist goes to MP. Jovich I'll be honest, I was effort. not expecting and him to lead, make that. I'm not familiar with how good Jovich is at shooting, but wow. Now we have a moment to uh, reveal our Here we go. Form. Let's assist finish this. And, and I'm glad this was the pick because I love this pass. Such a great dish. That's what I call court vision. Yeah, and with the accuracy to go along with that vision. I mean, he put the ball in the absolute perfect spot. That's how you orchestrate it. And what can we say? Ryan just, he, he knows how to pass. He's trying to be like Steve Nash, you know? Bridges out there with Josh Green. Then it's Nick Richards. Then there's LaMelo Ball. Now, here's the good news with that miss. We now have our GOAT skill for 99 three-point shooting. Oh, my. Ryan is about to harness his inner Michael Jordan. I mean, he moved into the foul. That's that's not a foul. know about the flair and sizzle to the metal ball's game. The highlight reel plays, all of that is great, but I also like the fact that he's got great length at the point guard position, which presents a lot of problems at both ends. And the second free throw, good. One thing about LaMelo Ball, he can I, really I disagree with that being a foul. When he's healthy and playing well. And a lot but I mean, doesn't every NBA player and NBA, NBA fan disagree with fouls? So and then has the we fit right into the NBA. Pretty hard to stop him when he's in the flow. Remember, oh, activated. Oh, my. They better watch out. The GOAT. MP, no good. And the great shooters know when they've got enough opening to go for the three. I didn't think it was. A I mean, bad the fans hate you when you position. take a three pointer and miss it. That doesn't stop me from firing it Man. up there. And it's ball in the corner. Offline with his three. The Heat leading by 10. In the corner, it's MP. All day. MP sinks the triple. Take that, Charlotte. MP looking solid from there. Now the fans were starting to we're starting to win them over. In a decent groove. Bridges outside. 
It's hauled in by Bam Adebayo. The Heat have gone one of three from the field to start the fourth quarter. Richardson kicks to MP. They set the screen. It's rebounded by Charlotte. And that was I was not trying to do that. Yeah, I think Ryan deserves to lose fans for that. To shoot it from anywhere, but he could have gotten a better one than that. And he can carry a team. We've seen it from ball before. Sorry, coach. It again. That's wide open. Who's in? No stopping MP. Well, he's demanding the ball. He wants it, and he's coming through. I mean, you can see why his teammates trust him down the stretch, guys. And timeout is called by Charles. I got to get a little bit smarter with these shots. I get way too carried away. Measured, wanting to make sure that everybody is on the same page here. Way too carried away. Like, I got to settle down. We're winning those 72 to 60, but I was just trying to do a little like normal three pointer. The fans here in Charlotte are fired up here. Williams is checked in for we can't Bridges. say that Ryan Gamer is the worst dancer now. Let's check in with our in Madden 25. Hey guys, during the break, listen in with Charles. Actually, yes, we team. can. Now he asked for. We can definitely say that Ryan's the worst dancer. Those fans had much more rhythm than Ryan Gamers ever showed in his touchdown dances. Now that we should be done for the day. Let's see what happens here. Come on team. 85, 74, 87, 77. And that's going to be a win. Now we get to go back in the game. It's called time here. There's 38 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Is the momentum Guys, meter think? new? And you need a foul here to try and extend. I don't remember the game. that. Best case is the There's no fans left. To a poor free throw shooter, but really they have to foul whoever it ends up with. Rozier, the pass to MP. We've got 28 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Off target with his three. We're supposed to have 99 three point shooting right now, but it doesn't feel like it. There's 14 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Clearly a foul. I thought they called it on Ryan again. Those free throws. You just let him play with six seconds left. This does give us another shot, though. And he makes both free throws. MP fires from way outside. Yeah. Yep, it's yes. And so Miami takes this one by a big margin. This one was over well before the final buzzer. The fans were waiting for something to get excited about Greg, but they never got it. They sure didn't. I mean, they just rolled to this win. They made it look Yeah, really I mean, we, we did. What an efficient performance at both ends. And that about wraps it up. Ryan was working on his buzzer beater shots, right? Just at the at the end of the game, you got to work on them. I mean, what if we're down and we need a three-pointer there? That's what Ryan was trying to simulate, and he made it. Did you see we gained some fans, the few fans that were in attendance at that point in the game? So look, we're moving up. you love to see it. Oh, where? Here we go. A uh, full game recap. Uh, view game events. Oh. Well... Whoops, I just realized I did not take a screenshot. There has to be a way to go back in there, right? Uh, oh no. There's got to be a way, right? I hope you can go back in there, because if not, I have no clue what we're going to do for the YouTube screenshot. I did not take one in that terrible defensive play, believe it or not. <laughs> I talked to people with knowledge of the situation, and they say that MP will be inserted into the starting lineup over the next few games. One front office executive from around the league said there is some doubt about MP's readiness to be in the starting lineup, but around the team, the front office, the coaching staff, they are optimistic and they believe that every milestone has been attained by MP and he will only be better with an expanded role. I agree. I agree. Only be better with an expanded role. I mean, we put up 30 points. We need one more game. Now, I hope that we can go back to the highlights there. 
allow we had the most points you love to see it 34 points three rebounds five assists so i feel like you used to be able to actually see the post game menu and go through highlights and watch some highlights for your player we were three for nine from three point honestly that's not too bad 25 15 of 25 field goal we shoot a lot only one turnover that's a great ball game we had three fouls but i don't know how to go back to take a screenshot that is unfortunate so you can play key games only we only got a few of those and our next one is a key game against another rookie we got to outperform the other rookie there has to be a way to do it right to like watch highlights is it over here no that's the that's just 2k tv right you might not be able to you might be locked out what if we go back into the arena you can't i because i like to go through and look at everything watch the highlights uh, you could do that in 2k23 i don't know i must be missing something wait can you actually work out in here wait a second what <laughs> we actually have a workout center why didn't you all tell me about this when were you all gonna tell me about this you can get some gatorade But what a game, right? Led the team in points. Did we shoot a bit too much? Maybe. Good game, MP. But, you know, you got to shoot. You got to have fun. Was that our coach? Was that Coach Spostra leaving? I, I, I didn't. I couldn't really tell. I just saw the jacket and that was the jacket. It looked like he was wearing in the game. It might have been. That's unfortunate you can't go back and watch highlights, though. What a start this has been for Ryan Gamer's NBA 2K career. Are you kidding me? This 2K25 series is going to be a blast. We are putting up numbers. I love how fast we are. This build is going to be fantastic, especially as we keep improving our skills. It's going to take time to get VC, but we keep playing like this. We're going to keep getting more VC, and we're going to continue to dominate. Couldn't move into the starting lineup after the next game if we outdo Josh Richardson. We'll see if that happens. But big thank you to all of you all for watching this video to the end, for all the support here on the channel. If you get some enjoyment, drop a like. It really helps the channel. Subscribe for more, and I will see you in the next video on the channel. There is plenty of other content you could tune into here on the Gamer Ability YouTube channel. New videos each and every day. We got plenty of other ongoing career modes. You like career modes, this is the channel for you. If you want even more content from me, check out my second channel, Gamer Ability 2. Link in the description to that. Uh, but I will see you all in the next video. As always, have a fantastic day, everybody.